Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your April 1st through 30th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I also have a 20% coupon running for our spling, spling, our spling fling. <laughs> To allow us to have this beautiful energy of renewal and restoration of the springtime energy. So I hope you'll take advantage of it. I look forward to doing a reading with you. And let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, hallelujah. We have the energy of the Ten of Wands and the Fool. The Ten of Wands is the energy of being able to move out from underneath all of that energy that's been piled up on top of you, feeling like a mountain. So you're able to step out of that into the feeling of walking upright and unburdened as a, as the beautiful energy is unblocking you here as you are seconded with the energy of the fool. So it's actually confirming the release of this and the energy of the fool is a new beginning, closing the door to the past and allowing you to move very quickly forward into the new with a solid energy of this transition into the new adventure. So closing the door and sealing it with a kiss. Let's move on, my Geminis. This is a really good start. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit and the dump truck load of blessing arrives at your door. This is the overflow, the onslaught of wonderfulness that's coming in all at the same time. And that's the only caveat. It makes you feel like you're overwhelmed. Just take your time and do one thing at a time and you'll be just fine. Don't try to finish it all in one day because that's not going to be anything but a stress party. Moving in the energy of the new divine spirit. Spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So what about an upgrade? We'll take that. The beautiful, luxurious energy of the chariot, which is also known as the Hollywood card, brings you accolades and upgrades. We'll take that energy fast moving with wheels. So we love the limelight. We love the energy of being in that position of being seen in the higher frequency. The Nine of Pentacles. This is the self-fulfilling prophecy of the Garden of Eden, allowing yourself to be in a place where you're restoring and renewing continuously, that abundance continuously flows, and you're in a place of the universe conspiring in your favor, bringing you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it, every single time. When you believe that in your heart, you create it in this realm. And we have the Emperor. This is the Aries Major Arcana. This is also the strength of the masculine of the universe coming in fully formed. So whatever you're stepping into is there grounded and solid. So very nice as that masculine energy comes in. And you're ready for the move forward, the Three of Wands. You have had experiences in the past that you can anchor to, but you don't have to babysit. You, they're planted, they're firmly grounded, and they're rooted so you can move forward without having to, to pay attention to it because it's it's with you. It's, it's like it's embedded. You don't have to worry as you step into this new beautiful way forward with the wands. It may be doing something new for a living or in a new way. We have the Eight of Cups in the household, relationship, love life, and spiritual life energy, which is a big fat yes from the universe. You may now proceed and you're being shown the way with the full moon giving you the entire horizon. To look at so absolutely fabulous energy yes from the universe you've done everything it takes and you're past all the obstacles 
Taurus, the Hierophant. This is the welcome wagon. This is being told yes, given permission, granted entrance. It is whatever you've applied for or something that you're trying to get done. That Hierophant is there and it is very solid. It can mean a government agency or entity, a college or university. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, which means financial platform, something new coming in. So this can be a job offer too. Beautiful energy as that solid ace is there. It is a new flow of money either through the same source or resource as you may get in a higher percentage or a whole new, whole new ball of wax. And we've got the nine of swords. This has been showing up a lot in people's career and finance. Of course, money is always a factor, but this is needless worry. Uh, the nine of swords is you getting a little little taking it a little to the to the nth degree here so don't let the fear stop you feel the fear do it anyway because anytime we're going to step out of our comfort zone especially when it has to do with work that's what's happening stepping into something new we're going to get a little fear we also feel like okay well this is really hard i'm having to do this and i don't know if i'm doing the right thing maybe i should give up and go back home don't do that because you've already won you just don't know it this five of swords is where you're feeling the battle fatigue, but it's not for nothing. You completed the task of this and you're now in a place where there is no more battling going on. So yay team, if you'll be still, the universe is going to bring you the notification that you have indeed got this beautiful energy moving forward. And indeed you do, Queen of Swords. This is your queen, Gemini. This is also you standing in your psychic abilities, your connection to source, and your ability to be very charismatic and communicate with others is also a divine healing energy. So that may be where you're moving toward as you go into something new. We have the Five of Cups in the near future. This is where we're having a little bit of a little little stump of our toe. We're kind of stuck in a pity party. And it's not even that it's really like you're obsessing over it. It's just that there's something has happened and it's hard to go forward when we're looking back. So you have to make the choice. You have to tell the universe, I choose to move forward in spite of all of this. That is no longer my story. I want to see what's here, what's new. Bring me to where I'm going next. What are my next accomplishments and achievements? And Sagittarius comes in, temperance, to align you with it. This is synchronicity. This is Archangel Uriel, and she's got the fire of life or life force. And she's doing alchemy to create the synchronicity. So all you have to do is choose to get out of the story that you're telling yourself and start with the new. And that would begin with your focus on it. This is the moon, the Pisces major arcana, and it is the manifestor's moon. As you clear all your chakras in this pillar, they kind of whisk over and kind of arc into this one, which turned to white light. And that's what starts the form of what we would call an embryo of the, the genesis of something new. And as you have the divine timing device there, as you pour your energy in, the more pure energy you can put into that, to that manifesting, it will come through into the natural. And last but not least, oh my gosh, not least at all, we have the sun card. This is an amazing energy. This is your beautiful opportunities of a lifetime coming in. And we are in a beautiful astrology alignment right now with the energy of that solar eclipse coming. This opportunity cannot be failed. The only way that you can miss this is if you don't show up for it. So pay attention. The universe is definitely opening the big guns up for you. And we have our clarifiers. To all believers, this is the, the card of keeping your belief as you believe, so shall it be done unto you, where your focus, your manifestation will bring to you what you're focusing on. Pay attention that you're not in a negative mindset and that you're not focusing on what you don't want because it'll manifest that just as quickly. So as we have our positivity all in an upswing, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. 
We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. And Scorpio Major Arcana, the death card, the cosmic garbage man coming in to take out all the toxic energy and plant new seeds of new growth as we say goodbye and release to the old way. Yes and yes, clearing the slate for brand new with the successful energy of that chariot. Ace of Cups. Now, this is a divine healing and a seal of approval from the universe for what you're trying to manifest. The beautiful energy of the elixir of life and all the beautiful components that go with it to allow you to create anything that you can believe in. And the Magician. So the Emperor's strength and that vitality of that powerful energy of the masculine comes in with the Magician, which is where we focus and create and allow ourselves to be in a place of using our internal light to create with. We have the Knight of Rods coming in next. So you will take action on this new endeavor. And you, you'll you know it when it's time because you'll feel the urge or urgency or even get an actual notification. It's time. And there's your two uh, all believers here again with that Eight of Cups. So to all believers is the ability to Keep yourself focused as you move forward, as you've done all the things necessary to do so. And the universe is going to give you some assistance here with this page of cups. This one has a fish in the cup. And this is the wave of abundance that is continuously flowing. There is more than enough in the universe. The, the lie or the facetious uh, tale of woe about there not being enough and things being scarce. That's only for control. It's not true. There is more abundance than you can shake a stick at. And we have the five of pentacles. Now, this is where we feel kind of left out in the cold because we haven't heard anything or we're waiting. And if we wanted to have, it's not that it's not happening. It's that it's not happening fast enough for us. And, and you may not be able to see it, but everything's happening, whether you can tell or not, the energy's moving. So what you have to do here is be patient and hold your hold your ground and not don't don't give up and don't try to push it you don't want to try to force it just let let it take its own time it's coming in as fast as it needs to we have the 3 of rods again you had it over here now you have it here you will be moving forward when it's time don't worry about it don't get yourself caught up in oh i haven't done it yet that's that's doesn't matter that the timing will align with you you don't have to align with it the nine of pentacles is here saying you are being provided for the battle's over and you are in the energy of keeping that energy of all the flow all the abundance everything's recreating itself hello with the queen of pentacles there's the queen of swords which is your queen with the queen that is very stable and secure with new financial abundance flowing in and their future archangel michael now this is also your masculine energy of your air sign gemini this is being very solidly grounded and stable so you're ready now you go okay well i'm going to pull myself up by the bootstraps and i'm fixing to go for this and there you are in that masculine ability with that divine feminine working with you because you have the king and the queen of swords that's an offer coming in the knight of cups is extending this offer and it's synchronistic because there's the temperance card so somebody might be willing to make a deal and the world card so as we manifest through the moon the vortex opens up as you are now walking through into a higher frequency and the divine has it organized it for your success and you feel empowered and victorious moon card right below it is exactly why you want to be focused because you're attracting this and you want to be successful in the thing that you're trying to create and last but not least you have the two of cups it stands for several different things one of them is your spiritual ascension where you're now spirit is taking over instead of ego it can also mean soulmate for those of you who are in that mode and it can also mean divine connection as you do whatever you're doing for a living that you're doing it for the highest good of all and you're aligned in that way so 
Many blessings to you, my Gemini friends. This is an amazing reading. I love you guys. Don't forget we have the everyday af affirmations that come out to help you kind of boost your energy and have a positive start to your day. I also have the, the members only, so don't forget to click on that if you want to join. And you get different daily readings with meditation. And then you have the weeklies, which give you a forecast for all the different days of the week as they show up. So many blessings to you. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Namaste, my friends.